What's going on Island Hoppers today? We are coming to you from Washington DC, as you can see by the nation's capital right behind me. We're gonna walk around the National Mall, show you guys what museums there are that are open. Uh, many of them are getting ready to open here in later May. We're in May 2021 right now. And so let's begin. In this Washington DC travel guide, we do show you around the National Harbor, Georgetown, Alexandria, and around the Potomac River areas. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and watch this one also for Arlington. We really do get around Washington DC pretty good here. So let's dial this in and zero in on the nation's capital from the border of Virginia and Maryland. Here we are at the Dwight D. Eisenhower Memorial right here. Now, when you come to DC, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to check out is the Smithsonian Institute. And this here is Smithsonian information. If you go right here to www.si.edu, you can get more information on the museums here in Washington, DC. And there is several down in the National Mall. Uh, they're about to be opened up here in late May, according to the uh, rumor on the streets. One such Smithsonian museum is going to be the Smithsonian Gardens right here in National Mall. If you guys want to explore the history of Native Americans in America, you can come over here to the Native American Museum right here in the National Mall. One of the things I really like about Washington DC is how everything is within close proximity to each other exhibit or museum and it makes it easy to walk around here in a daytime uh, and see so many different exhibits, museums, and monuments. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering what the National Mall is, it's actually a national park. And it's this whole area that goes from the Capitol down to the Washington Monument, over to the White House, across to the uh, Jefferson Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial. So that whole area is a national park known as the National Mall. All right, here we are in front of the National Art Gallery right behind me. This museum is going to have quite an exquisite amount of art for you guys to take in. You're gonna need a couple hours for a place like this. Here we are at the National Sculpture Garden. We're gonna go inside there. You do have to wear a mask, so I'm gonna to have to put mine on, but before I go in there, I'm just telling you, we are here at the Sculpture Garden. This right here is the Museum of Natural History for those of you who want to explore the anthropological side of the United States and the world. Here we are in front of the American Museum of History. Inside here you can get the Constitution, the Star Spangled Banner, which is a big old flag for you to check out. And this is actually opening up here May 21st, Friday. So come on out and check out the American History Museum if you haven't already. This is the Smithsonian. Here we 
are at the Washington National Monument right in the middle of the National Mall here. Now right here at the White House, it appears as though there are several barricades in between you, the pedestrian trying to look at the White House, and the actual White House. There's a barricade there, a big white wall, and then the old black fence, which you can't get close to. So you can't really see the White House like you used to. Uh, they've kind of barricaded it in. But the best view you would get of the White House is going to be up at the Washington Monument as it stands right now. Now the area known as District Columbia is the feminine word for Columbus. And it sits in its own region. It's a semi-autonomous region, if you wanna call it that. Uh, it's still in the United States, but it's its own District of Columbia, right? And it sits in between the US states of Maryland and Virginia along the Potomac River. Here we are at the World War II Memorial. You could see it is surrounded by the podiums of the states. Each state has its representation here with the names inscripted on it. And then they have a fountain right in the middle of the courtyard. that Washington DC is one of the most visited cities in all of America and it has over 20 million visitors every single year so this place does get pretty packed when you come out here For me, the Lincoln Memorial is my favorite one of all the memorials. Now, I do like the Washington Monument and the Jefferson Memorial. And, you know, the Capitol building looks good from afar and so does the White House. But I think the Lincoln Memorial is a must-see when you come to Washington, D.C. All right, guys, here we are at the Abraham Lincoln Memorial. This is on the west side of the National Mall, but you can see this is definitely a place you're gonna to wanna to walk up to. All right, guys, here we are at the Korean War Memorial. We'll show you guys around this uh, location here.
right here near the Thomas Jefferson Memorial is the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial. Here is a very profound statement that was made by what is considered a forgotten founder, and uh, his name was George Mason. You can see right here, I'm pointing this out because I think this is an important statement, so bear with me here. All men are born equally free and independent and have certain inherent natural rights, among which are the enjoyment of life and liberty with the means of acquiring and possessing property and pursuing and obtaining happiness and safety. Do not let someone try to take away that right from you, the people. Now, when you come to the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, you can actually go down and there is a area down here you can learn some more history. And here's a good quote that I found right here. Thomas Jefferson often referred to knowledge as light. His life's work was as much a quest for light as for liberty to America and the world. He affirmed that light upholds liberty, that a free government relies on enlightened citizens. So do your part to gain knowledge. So here we are at the Arlington Cemetery. You can see the hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Let's go check a look. All right, so here we are, we're on the tram. It's $5.95 per person if you're a veteran. It's $15 if you're not a veteran, but it's a little bit easier to get around on a tram than it is to walk the whole campus. It takes about 40 minutes to uh, explore this place if you just ride the tram only, but if you get off, it's uh, every 30 minutes comes a new tram. All right, so here we are at the tomb of the unknown soldier. We're gonna walk around here, show you guys what's going on over here. So here we are at the Arlington National Cemetery. You can do a tour here. There's also uh, admission cost getting into some of the museums, but believe it or not, all the Smithsonian museums are free. Now this Arlington National Cemetery tour that you take, if you are a veteran, you do get a really nice discount about half off, but if not, it costs about $15. So overall, if I was to say anything about the price of admission and the cost of seeing DC, I would say it's fairly affordable. They do have a big bus, like a hop on, hop off kind of bus that you can take around that will get you around. Or you just take Uber and Lyft for 10 to $15 just to get from point A to point B. All right, guys, here we are at the Arlington House. This is considered the best view in all of D.C.
All right, guys, here we are at the Pentagon. This is also a metro station. Uh, unfortunately, you have to wear a mask the whole time, although I'm having a hard time talking through it, so I'm just gonna pull it down real quick because I'm socially distanced. Uh, this is the Pentagon right here, but there is a uh, rail line right here down below. We'll go check out this rail, this metro system. All right, guys, we finally made it down to Pennsylvania Avenue. You know who lives on Pennsylvania Avenue, the president. So we're gonna go past the White House and we're gonna go into downtown DC. Let's go. Turns out right next to uh, the White House is a Trump International Hotel. You can see right behind me. All right, guys, it's the morning time. We are picking back up where we left off. We are down here at the DC Wharf. We're gonna show you guys the fish market. Hopefully it's open, it's only 10.30 in the morning. And we're gonna go around uh, the Potomac River area, check out Georgetown, and hopefully end up down uh, the river a bit by Alexandria. different types, jumbo prawns, squid, octopus, clams. So down here, you can actually get the seafood right here, buy the crawdads or whatever you want, and then they prep it over here at Jesse's. That's pretty good. So here we have some clam chowder that I just bought, and uh, we're gonna give it a try. I asked her, I said, what's better? The brisk, the lobster brisk, the shrimp gumbo, or the seafood gumbo, the clam chowder or the Maryland crab. 
she said the most popular is the clam chowder. This is my breakfast. Hearty. Steaming hot. All right, now we're down at National Harbor, so we're gonna show you guys around this area. They have a big Ferris wheel here. So as you can see down here on National Harbor, it's on the Potomac River. This is where they have events and other sorts of festivals right here in National Harbor. Check out this statue. It's like a man buried underneath the sand. All right guys, we've made it to Alexandria. We're on the waterfront. We're gonna walk around here and show you guys what Alexandria is like. All right, so this area we're walking around in Alexandria is called King Street.
this here Main Avenue fish market is the oldest operating fish market in the United States. This here is some uh, tuna ceviche. Wow, this is really amazing ceviche. I got this margarita right here. All right, here we are in Georgetown, which is another uh, community just outside of Washington, D.C. We'll walk around and show you guys what this place has to offer. the Francis Scott Keene Park. He is the author of The Star Spangled Banner. What do you guys say we go up to the top of Book Hill Park? All right guys, we are now at the Georgetown waterfront. Let's go. you know that you can go on a tour boat on the Potomac? They have tours that go take you up and down this beautiful river. It's really amazing. But you can see they have the Boomerang Yacht Club. They have a boat like that. I've even seen people eating lunch and dinner on the Potomac on a boat that they rented. 
So you could do it with a company like this, or you could rent your own boat and just go straight out on the Potomac. Such a beautiful river. All right, guys, we are here in downtown Washington, D.C. Let's see what this place looks like. guys that's going to conclude this episode of island hopper tv from washington dc this travel guide right here if you guys enjoyed this one please do watch some of our other ones we'll put them right here 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 and here and we'll see you guys on the next video